Have you ever hesitated in taking a step forward toward realizing a heart's desire or a lifelong dream? This reluctance is frequently rooted in fear, subtly shaped by the mental barriers we erect, which curb our potential and mute the richness of life. These barriers confine us, fostering frustration and unfulfillment as we linger in the shadow of what if, restrained from chasing our deepest aspirations. Carlos Castaneda, under the tutelage of the shaman Don Juan Matus, offers a solution to a life plagued by the frustrations of unfulfilled potential and timidity, the warrior's way. This is not merely a way of life, but a shift in attitude, enabling one to break through the limitations of the rational mind to perceive a world teeming with possibilities. As we walk through this exploration together, we'll uncover the essentials for setting forth on this path, the barriers you may encounter, and how to cultivate every moment to bolster your personal power. Embracing this journey, while demanding, promises a life filled with growing inner strength and serenity, even amidst life's inevitable storms. If this content resonates with you, please consider showing your support with a like. Subscribe to stay informed on similar journeys of discovery and engage in the conversation by sharing your insights below. Assume the mood of a warrior. A warrior walks a path lit by the acceptance of fate and a profound cognizance of life's unfolding narrative. Don Juan Matus's teachings reveal that a warrior's joy stems not from superficial contentment, but from the courageous acceptance of his path and a clear-sighted vision of what lies ahead. This acceptance is a sign of strength, not defeat, acknowledging every aspect of the journey whether it leads through light or darkness, as a part of a grand design. A warrior embraces full responsibility for every action, understanding that each reflects his core intentions. When he acts, it's with full commitment and without second-guessing, infusing his deeds with purpose and leaving no space for regret. Simultaneously, he recognizes but does not yield to pain, allowing it to be a reminder rather than a ruler of his destiny fortifying his spirit without succumbing to self-pity or despondence. With an acceptance of life's impermanence and a stoic contemplation of death, a warrior finds serene tranquility. This path is marked by confronting each moment with the composed certainty of having already faced the ultimate end, allowing a profound acceptance that liberates from the grip of fear. It is this tranquil spirit that steadies him against life's undulations his demeanor remaining unperturbed amidst the surrounding chaos, a mirror of the depth of his experiences, yet never revealing the multitude of challenges overcome. Make every act count. To exist within a state of action, apart from the realm of thought, is to live directly through deeds. Such a way of life embodies immediacy, transforming every deed into a manifestation of essence. With the insights of Don Juan, there is an alignment with the immediate struggle, facing each encounter as though it is the last. Such a perspective intensifies focus and infuses each moment with urgency. An understanding of life's impermanence ignites a passion that is at once consuming and liberating, each act potentially the final, imbued with the rare joy of absolute presence. Actions, therefore, are not diluted by hesitation or doubt. They are deliberate, filled with the totality of spirit and in alignment with a purpose that transcends the act itself. Living by this principle means making every act count, infused with the entirety of being in the fearless present. Every encounter is met with the utmost seriousness and dedication, as if it were the ultimate opportunity to manifest will, making every deed not just a statement to the world, but an affirmation of one's presence in the here and now. Use death as an advisor. Confronted with life's choices, the inevitability of mortality can propel us to action, sharpening discernment and driving away the shadows of indecision. There is no space for the luxury of remorse or hesitation in a realm shadowed by the constant proximity of death. Harnessing the clarity that comes with the knowledge of life's brevity, 
our decisiveness is refined, allowing us to sift through what matters most. Recognizing death not as a looming threat, but as an ever-present force, imbues our choices with significance and mindfulness. In this way, each decision is not just made, but is sculpted with deliberation and presence. This awareness fosters humility, creating an intrinsic sense of unity with the greater tapestry of life, as one acknowledges the fleeting nature of existence. Such a perspective allows actions to flow from a place free of self-absorption, aligned with a more profound rhythm and intent. Therefore, the journey of self-mastery is one of balance, steered by the subtle wisdom that everything is transient. With the acceptance of life's temporal nature as a guiding principle, actions are charged with intention and presence, creating a life lived fully, with respect for the delicate balance of being. Obstacles to impeccability. In the journey toward personal mastery, the challenge begins with the recognition that our perceptions are entangled in illusion, beliefs and descriptions passed down from our earliest days. These ingrained perceptions form a pseudo-reality that individuals staunchly defend. To reach a state of impeccability, one must critically examine and dismantle these accepted truths to touch the fabric of genuine reality. The teachings of Don Juan emphasize the rigor involved in cultivating a disciplined mindset. It is in this mental forge that notions of self-pity and perceived injustice melt away. One comes to understand that feelings of being wronged are not the result of external forces, but of internal narratives. Acknowledging this is key to discarding the mantle of victimhood and embracing full accountability for one's life choices. Central to this paradigm is the practice of quieting the internal dialogue, the relentless inner voice that casts the world in a subjective hue. Overcoming this narrative is akin to lifting a veil, revealing the profound stillness that lies beyond. By silencing this mental chatter, one can move through the world with grace and intention, free from the persistent disturbances of the mind. Actions thus become pure expressions of will, untainted by the constant background hum that once dictated the rhythm of life. The Path to Personal Power Pursuing personal power involves confronting life's trials with a spirit of humility. Every challenge encountered is not merely an obstacle, but an opening to forge inner strength and sagacity. Don Juan's words resonate here. A warrior takes his lot, whatever it may be, and accepts it in ultimate humbleness, underscoring the critical importance of humility in this transformative process. This quest also nurtures a deep respect for the unfathomable intricacies that define both the universe at large and the individual self. One learns to traverse these profound mysteries with reverence, drawing strength from a harmonious relationship with life's inherent enigmas. At the core of this transformative journey is the belief that life's true value doesn't depend on external acclaim. Personal fulfillment springs from a life lived true to one's fundamental values and objectives. Such an existence breeds a quiet, yet formidable sense of self-assurance and tenacity. Thus, the essence of the quest for personal power transcends mere triumphs. It is a voyage marked by self-discovery and the cultivation of one's spirit. Illuminated by the heart's bravery and unwavering dedication to principled living, this path offers a unique kind of power, one that arises from within, shaped by deliberate and meaningful choices that chart the course of one's existence. The journey of embracing the warrior's way is a profound shift from a state of fear to one of personal power. This transformation is about releasing illusions, quieting the internal dialogue that fosters limitations and humbly accepting the terms of life. It involves using the concept of death as a counselor, which sharpens focus and gives weight to decisions. The result is a profound liberation. Unshackled by fear of potentialities, there is a standing in the reality of the present. At its core, this journey is a metaphor for human existence, calling for a life lived with courage, discipline and humility. 
it proposes a framework for transforming fear into freedom and uncertainty into an engagement with fate. For those on this path, the world unfolds with new possibilities and existence becomes a platform for the authentic manifestation of intrinsic power. Let the words of Don Juan ignite the inner spirit. You have everything needed for the extravagant journey that is your life, affirming that within each of us lies the innate capability to embark on a magnificent odyssey.